Hello, good morning, my dear loving students. Today we are going to learn chapter 3, The Little Girl, written by Catherine Mansfield. The story is about the relationship between a strict father and his daughter. Initially, the father is shown as very hard-working and a strict disciplinarian, showing his anger when the daughter puts an obstacle in his work without knowing it. However, in the end, the girl's perception of her better of her, uh, her father changes when her mother is hospitalized and her father takes care of her with love and sympathy before the beginning before the starting the chapter do you feel you know your parents better now than when you were much younger? Perhaps you now understand the reasons for some of their actions that used to upset you earlier. The story about a little girl whose feelings for her father change from fear to understanding will probably find an echo in every home. Some of you have that fear on your parents, on your father. Some of you fear your mother. But later when you grow up, you understand why they are, why they were angry with you. This is also one of the stories of such kind. Here, two main characters. The daughter, her name is Kesia, daughter of this for the little girl. The, chap- the name of the chapter is The Little Girl. That little girl is Kesia. She's the daughter, very afraid of her father at the beginning. And Cassius understanding changes at the end of the chapter due to care taken by her father in her mother's absence. Father had to take care when mother was hospitalized. She was, uh, this uh, Cassia was all alone in the house. And the next character is Cassius' father, a hard-working and a strict disciplinarian, a person to be feared and avoided for each and everything. He, he used to scold her for keeping everything neat and tidy. But later, this father's tender side is revealed, loving nature. Only at the end of the story. Other than these two, we find uh, her mother and also her grandmother. So let us begin the third chapter, The Little Girl. To the little girl, he was a figure to be feared and avoided. To the little girl, for this little girl... Her father, figure here means father, this uh, picture of a person, to be feared and avoided. A person to be feared. Every morning before going to war, he came into her room and gave her a casual kiss. To which she responded with a goodbye father. Every day he used to do that as a father, every father does. Reaches you to school, kisses you, say goodbye, everything is there. But she 
had fear on him she also responded with a goodbye father before he goes to office and oh there was a glad sense of relief when she heard the noise of the carriage growing fainter and fainter down the long road at the same time she is very happy when she understands father is going for his work there was a glad sense of relief she gets relaxed when she heard the noise of the carriage in which he is going to the traveling to his office carriage carriage means a horse driven vehicle growing fainter and fainter down the long road when father moves out of the house she becomes very happy so you can imagine how much fear she had on him clear the little girl kesia was afraid of her father she always wanted to avoid meeting him she doesn't want to see she felt relieved when he went out of the house as his presence made her uncomfortable out of fear got it clear in the evening when he came home she stood near the staircase and heard his loud voice in the hall he used to shout at her in the evening when he came home when her father comes home she used to stand near the staircase and her loud his loud voice in the hall she used to hear this every day father starts shouting at her mother and wanted many things ordering things bring my tea into the drawing room has in the paper come yet mother go and see if my paper is out there and bring me my slippers so such a figure he was such a commanding fellow he was in the evening when he came home she stood near the staircase and heard his loud voice in the hall bring my tea into the drawing room he used to order to bring tea for him to to bring tea for him he used to ask whether the newspaper had come or not mother go and see if my paper is out there his mother also was there and uh, he used to tell her go and see whether the paper is lying over there and also again ordered to bring him his slippers next para kesia mother would call to her and whenever her father comes from office mother used to call her kesia if you are a girl, good girl you can come down and take her father's boots slowly the girl would slip down the stairs more slowly still across the hall and push open the drawing room door her mother used to call her she sees this girl is very much afraid of her father and the mother wanted to make them in a good bond so mother would call to her and tell her to go and take off father's boots 
if you are a good girl you can come down and take off father's boots and poor girl slowly slowly would slip down the stairs more slowly still across the hall actually she doesn't want to go near father that much afraid she was and push open the drawing room door by that time he had his spectacles on and looked at her over them in a way that was terrifying to the little girl see the way he looks at her when she reaches here is spectacles on and uh, over the spectacles he used to look at her in a way that was terrifying to the little girl well case the uh, hurry up and pull off these boots and take them outside he told her hurry up to hurry up and to pull off those boots and take them outside come on come and take off my boots and keep them outside in a very gentle way he said have you been a good girl today after that he used to ask her how she was the whole day in his absence with the mother and grandmother have you been a good, good girl today i i i don't know father she was not able to complete in fear stuck her means uh, what do we call stammered in fear she swallowed some of the words i i don't know father you don't know he used to imitate her style if he stutters stammer means breaking the words stop it in between if he stutter like that mother will have to take you to the doctor no why you are talking like this if you if he advised her if she did it again and again mother would how to take her to the doctor she never stuttered with other people that is a thing only with the father had quite given it up but only with the father because then she was trying so hard to say the words properly but only with the father she did so what's the matter what are you looking so wretched about wretched about means very much worried and happy mother i wish you told this child not to appear on the brink of suicide and told his wife and scolded mother why she hadn't taught her how to appear on the how to talk in front of the people otherwise if she behaves like this if she has such kind of fear surely she will do something bad appear on the brink of suicide she is near to suicide so father told her mother to teach how to behave properly how to have confidence in speaking here kesia carry my tea cup back to the table carefully again next order here kesia carry my tea cup he again told her to carry the tea cup back to the table carefully he was so big his hands and his neck especially his mouth when he yawned 
thinking about him alone was like thinking about a giant giant terrifying figure he was so big about father his hands and his neck whole body is so big looking like a giant especially his mouth when he yawned when he yawned opened his mouth widely he just looked like a giant thinking about him alone was like thinking about a giant she felt is just like a giant fourth para on sunday afternoons grandmother sent her down to the drawing room to have a nice talk with the father and mother sunday it's a holiday so every afternoon grandmother is to send her down to the drawing to have a nice talk with the father and mother but the little girl always found mother reading and father stretched out on the sofa his handkerchief on his face his feet on one of the best cushions sleeping soundly and snoring and after making her mind to go and when she comes to the drawing room to talk to her father and mother mother is always busy doing some work or the other sunday afternoon she used to sit for reading the newspaper or reading something else and her father used to sleep on the sofa stretched out on the sofa his handkerchief on his face his feet on one of the best cushions you can see in the picture in the book next page it is uh, shown there page number 33 sleeping soundly and snoring some of you while sleeping you make a snoring sound she sat on a stool gravely watched him until he walk and stretched poor girl never disturbed her father she used to sit there gravely watched him very seriously watched him until he walk and stretched and asked the time then looked at her she sat on a stool near mother gravely watched him seriously watched him until he walk and stretched and asked the time then looked at her and when he gets up first thing he used to ask what the time is what the time was poor girl in fear she simply says don't stare so kesia you look like a little brown owl in fear she used to look at him then he said don't stare so don't look like that don't gaze at me like that you look like a little brown owl one day when she was kept indoors with a cold her grandmother told her that father's birthday was next week and suggested she should make him a pin cushion for a gift out of a beautiful piece of yellow silk one day she was very cool she was with the grandmother outside the grandmother told her about father's birthday sir in the next week and suggested she should make uh, him a pin cushion for a gift out of a beautiful piece of yellow silk see what she did whether she made a birthday gift for her father or not we'll see it tomorrow so one to four paragraph will end today was so huge appeared so big to kesia my grandmother wanted kesia should talk to her parents more and therefore sunday afternoon she would send her to the drawing room to talk to them where they would be relaxing and uh, her uh, grandmother suggested to make uh, her own 
had made a gift birthday gift for her father she suggested her to make a pin cushion pin cushion means a small cushion like on which uh, they used to keep a pins whether she makes it or how she made it that we will see okay read the chapter have a nice day thank you